The Enigma of the Shroud of Turin, a Divine Mystery For centuries, the Shroud of Turin has captivated the hearts and minds of believers and skeptics alike. This ancient cloth, thought by many to be the burial shroud of Jesus Christ, is one of the most studied and controversial artifacts in human history. Recently, however, something has been uncovered that could change everything we think we know. Let me remind you what the shroud is. This linen cloth, measuring about 14 feet long and 3.5 feet wide, bears the faint image of a man who appears to have suffered crucifixion in a manner eerily consistent with the accounts of Jesus' passion. The image is not painted or drawn. Scientific examinations have confirmed this repeatedly. Instead, it seems to be the result of some unknown process, with the fibers themselves slightly discolored in such a way that they create this haunting negative image. The shroud shows marks of scourging, a crown of thorns, nail wounds, and even a pierced side, all details perfectly matching the gospel narratives of Christ's crucifixion. This relic has been studied and scrutinized by scientists and theologians for decades. Carbon dating tests conducted in 1988 suggested that the shroud was a medieval forgery from around the 14th century. However, more recent studies have cast serious doubt on those results, pointing out that the carbon dating samples were taken from a patch that had been repaired in medieval times, not from the original fabric. In the wake of this controversy, the debate over the shroud's authenticity has only intensified, with new findings suggesting that it may indeed be far older and far more mysterious than those initial tests indicated. A team of independent researchers recently conducted a fresh analysis of the bloodstains on the shroud. These stains, thought to be the blood of the man crucified and wrapped in this cloth, were believed to be relatively unremarkable standard human blood, albeit ancient. But as the researchers dug deeper, they began to realize that something was very off. The DNA found within these stains was not like the DNA we are familiar with today. We all have 46 chromosomes, half from our mother and half from our father. But the DNA sequences from the shroud's blood showed anomalies that simply cannot be explained by any known human genetic process. The specific details of these findings are as fascinating as they are chilling. Some of the DNA markers identified were completely unlike anything seen in modern humans. There were missing sequences, sequences that appeared scrambled, and most intriguingly, sequences that seemed to contain elements that do not correspond to any known species on Earth. Imagine the implications of this blood that bears the genetic signature of a being that is both human and yet distinctly other. Is this the genetic fingerprint of the divine? Could it be that in this ancient cloth, lies the blood of Christ, preserved in a form that is beyond our comprehension, showing us that his very nature was something beyond mere mortality? Of course, this discovery raises more questions than it answers. Why would the DNA found in the shroud be so unusual, even impossible? Is this evidence of a miraculous event, a moment when the divine intersected with the material world in a way that left an indelible mark not just on history, but on the very fabric of reality itself. The fact that this DNA seems so unexplainable by natural processes points to the possibility that it could be the result of something supernatural. The shroud has always been more than just an object. It has been a sign, and this latest finding only adds to its mystique, suggesting that the man depicted on the shroud was not merely a man at all. Do you understand the implications of this discovery? If this is indeed the blood of Jesus Christ, then we're talking about physical evidence of the incarnation proof that God took on human flesh and walked among us. The presence of this anomalous DNA could be the closest thing we have to a scientific signature of divinity. In a world obsessed with materialism and hard evidence, this discovery stands as a challenge to everything we think we know about reality. The implications stretch far beyond religion and faith. They touch on the very nature of life, the universe, and what it means to be human. Critics, of course, will try to dismiss or explain away these findings. Some may suggest contamination or claim that the anomalies are simply the result of degradation over time, but the researchers behind this study have been meticulous. They've accounted for all known sources of contamination and have run their tests multiple times to confirm the results. What they found is something that doesn't fit into any known category of human DNA. 
What makes this discovery even more compelling is how it aligns with what we know from Scripture. The Bible tells us that Jesus was both fully God and fully man, a concept that has confounded theologians for millennia. How can someone be entirely human while also being entirely divine? The idea of Christ's dual nature has always been a central tenet of Christian belief, but it's also something that defies logical explanation. Now, we have something tangible, something physical that seems to point directly to this profound mystery. If the DNA found in the shroud is truly unlike anything in the known world, then we might be looking at evidence that Jesus was quite literally something more than human. But what does this mean for us today? We live in a time when faith is under constant assault. The modern world pushes us to question everything, to demand proof for what we believe. And yet, here we have something that could be that proof, an ancient relic that refuses to be fully explained by science, bearing evidence of a mystery that lies at the very heart of Christianity. The world may not want to hear it, but the message is becoming impossible to ignore. The Shroud of Turin might just be the divine echo that speaks directly to our generation, a reminder that God's truth is not constrained by the limits of human understanding. This discovery is also a wake-up call for believers. It's easy to get caught up in the distractions and deceptions of the world, to lose sight of the deeper spiritual realities that define our existence. But this finding should serve as a powerful reminder that the truths we read about in Scripture are not just stories. They are anchored in reality, in history, in flesh and blood. As the world becomes more chaotic and confused, it's crucial for us to keep our eyes fixed on what truly matters. God is not silent. He is revealing Himself in ways that even the most advanced science cannot fully grasp. The Shroud of Turin is not just a relic. It's a testament. It tells the story of a moment when the divine touched the earth, when God Himself entered into our broken world, took on our suffering, and triumphed over death. And now it seems that even in this cloth, there are traces of that miracle, traces that have endured for over 2,000 years, waiting for the right moment to be revealed. Perhaps this is that moment, perhaps in these times of uncertainty, when the world seems darker than ever, God is choosing to remind us of who He is and what He has done. In the end, the shroud remains a mystery, but it's a mystery that draws us deeper into the truth. As science continues to probe its secrets, what we're finding only seems to confirm what the faithful have known all along, that Jesus Christ was no ordinary man. He was and is something beyond our comprehension. And in that, there is a profound and inspiring truth, that in this seemingly fragile ancient cloth lies a powerful sign of the divine reality that underpins all creation. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, Click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation. It is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey of Jesus. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the video on your screen.